If you completed a 12th standard and searching for a right engineering degree to get into IT company with high salary, you might be having a confusion which engineering degree should I choose to achieve my goal. To get into IT, initially we had very less number of options. Now we have many options. BTEC CSC, BTEC IT is the common option. Additionally, we'll be having BE CSC. If we have an option to get into IT, we can get into it. But now we additionally have some subdomains as a main domain like artificial intelligence and machine learning, artificial intelligence and data science, cyber security, cloud and DevOps. We have a separate engineering degree for artificial intelligence, cyber security and all. So in this case, you are getting a confusion which career or which degree should I choose after completing my 12th standard to get a safe job, to get a job that is suitable for a fresher because in IT, getting a job as a fresher is quite tedious task. So to put up with that competition, if you have right skills, it would be easier for you. So choosing a right engineering degree is going to make that even more easier. In this video, we are going to see that how to do that in a step by step process. When it comes to IT, we have two different sides. One is high paying side. Other side is handling the work stress. If you need to handle the work stress, you need to choose a degree that is aligned with your skills. You need to choose a career that is aligned with your skills. That's how I'm going to teach you guys now. This video is like a counseling video. If you go to a person who is knowledge in this field and they are giving guidance, which career or which domain should I choose in engineering based on my skills, this is how you are going to watch this video. Because in this video, I'm going to explain you guys in a step-by-step -step manner, which degree you should choose based on what you are interested in, what you love working with. So if you choose a domain that you are interested in, it's going to be easy for you to survive through the ugly days or stressful days in IT. This engineering degree of BTEC CSE will never go out of demand because after completing this degree, you have the option of choosing any of these careers. It might be a software developer. You can go in AI domain, data science domain, cyber security, any domain you can choose just by adding a certification to your engineering degree. So I would say this is one of the safest engineering degree if you have a goal of getting into IT company. If you are a logical thinker who have curiosity to solve problems and you have patience to debug programming problems and you are good at mathematics and you have a curiosity how to develop a complete software, you have the curiosity to develop software, to learn how each and every steps are being done to build a complete web application. If you have a curiosity to become a web developer or software developer, and even if you are interested in becoming as a software tester who have curiosity to debug the problems that we have, then just close your eyes, go pick BECSE as your engineering degree. After completing BECSE, the most common jobs that you are going to apply is software testing, software development, or web development. So let's see a salary range for each and every job role. For software developer, as a fresher, you will be earning from 4 LPA to 6 LPA as a fresher. For web development, you will be earning from 3.6 LPA to 6 LPA as a fresher. For software testing, it's almost similar to a software development. So after completing this degree as a fresher, getting a job is easier than any careers. Now let's talk about BTEC IT. It is one of the safest parts similar to BECSE because after completing BTEC IT, you can go to all job roles similar to BECSE. But being honest, as per our curriculum, we are not going to learn a lot about software instead of hardware if you choose IT instead of CSE. In reality, you will be learning max two more semesters. If you are not good at math, don't choose CSE, instead choose IT. That is my ideology. In my perspective, I would say that is the truth. Apart from that, the studies, the subject, and everything is almost the same. If you have doubt that if both the careers are almost the same or different, just go ask for curriculum for BTEC CSE and BTEC IT. Compare them, you'll just see a difference in the singular subject. And even that single subject will not be considered for your semester marks. So 
ICR guys, BTEC CSA and BTEC IT are almost same. If you get an opportunity to do any of this degree, choose CSC if you are good at math. And if you are not too good at math, choose IT. Because in some colleges, you'll be having math for two more semesters in CSC. But in IT, you can avoid that. The job roles that you are going to apply after completing BTEC IT and BTEC CSC is also same. The third engineering degree to get high paid salary is BTEC AI and ML. This is one of the on demand career in IT, AI and ML, because automation is everywhere, right? That is the reason why AI is taking the lead over all, all technologies. If you are interested in coding and if you have a curiosity to develop artificial missions that could think exactly like human being, and if you are good at mathematics, if you have patience to learn a lot and lot in your college degree. Because if you are investing four years in your engineering degree, you have to spend almost all your time in doing projects. If you choose AI and ML, because in this career, most of the students are applying for this field. You will definitely be having more competition than you are thinking. But to be honest, this career is definitely having a demand in IT field. And even as a fresher, you can get a salary from 7 LPA to 8 LPA. But if you learn properly, if you have enough time to invest and learn in college, if you are going to be as a dedicated student, choose AI and ML. And you should be ready to face the competition that you are going to have in IT field. After completing your engineering degree, the job roles that you are going to apply is AI engineering, data scientist, and ML engineer. For these job roles, the average salary as a fresher is more than 7 to 8 LPA. Fourth engineering degree, BTEC AI and data science are BTEC data science alone. You can choose this degree if you are good in communication skills, presentation skills, and you are too curious about mathematics. Choosing this career could be an additional advantage for you if you are a business-minded person because you will be looking in any data with a business perspective if you are a data scientist. Even if you are starting an organization or company or any business after completing this degree with the knowledge that you got from B data science or BTEC data science, you can find an insight for any business that you are running which will be helpful in improving the growth and profit of organization. In this career, you need to learn a lot about programming. You need to learn a lot about business. You need to learn a lot about mathematics. You need to learn how to understand data from different perspectives. And this career is definitely an on-demand career. After completing your engineering degree in data science, your salary as a fresher is going to be more than 8 LPA as a fresher. But you're definitely going to have a high competition. If you invest your time in studying and upskilling yourself for the four years, just for four years, you're definitely going to get a salary more than you imagine. That 8 LPA is a minimum salary. If you prepare well, you'll definitely be getting more than 12 LPA sometimes. Fifth on-demand engineering degree, BTEC Cybersecurity. In this career, you will learn a lot about how to keep the data safe that you are going to collect for big projects like AI project, ML project, it might be a software development project. You have many data that is available online. Your duty as a cybersecurity analyst or if you are working in cybersecurity domain, your goal is to keep the data safe without being hacked. If you are a person who gives attention to detail, if you are an alert-minded person and used to think logically, you can choose cybersecurity as your major. Because in this field, you learn a lot about how to hack the data, how to keep the data safe, how to learn a lot about computer, how these data are being processed at the backend. As a fresher, it is going to be quite harder for you to get into this domain of cybersecurity in IT company. Because in companies, they'll prefer a lot to hire candidates who have experience in IT, who have experience in development or cloud. They should have experience in working with computers, program. They should have experience in handling data. Only if you have that experience, they will 
hire you if not if you have skills if you are knowledge enough to deal with that data if you are knowledge enough to work with the computer and work with that back end data they might give you a chance so if you are choosing cyber security with that curiosity make sure you are being patient enough to crack the interview until you get that opportunity you have to work harder and harder as a fresher in cyber security you will be earning from 4.5 lpa to 8 lpa sixth engineering degree electronics and communication engineering if you are a person who is interested in knowing how gadgets are working like mobile phones chips sensors remotes if you are curious about what is happening inside if you want to know and if you want to develop gadgets like that then ec is the best engineering degree for you it's not always about the salary what if everyone is choosing it as a career who will develop that apple mobile phone who will develop that iphones so if you learn that with curiosity you might be the one who is going to build that million dollar company billion dollar company so choose a career that you are interested in don't choose just because it is giving you high salary what if you are building a company to give that salary and hire an employee if you invest your four years of education in electronics and communication engineering in complete dedication of learning and knowing more things about how gadgets work if you learn a lot about how they are working from deep inside after completing your degree for sure you will get placed with a salary of around 4 lpa to 6 lpa even as a fresher but in ec it's quite hard to get that salary but if you work hard you can get double the salary that is the truth because many companies are hiring for employees with skills they have many freshers coming out of engineering colleges but they don't have right skills so if you are choosing this degree with the curiosity make sure investing each and every minute to learn a lot finally be tech in cloud computing as a cloud engineer your work is to create a storage space in a way anyone from your company could access the data from anywhere it is like building a bridge for data transfer after completing a certification in cloud or completing a degree in cloud you can even work as a data engineer because the work of data engineer is to build a data pipeline right if you are familiar with all the cloud tools you can work as a data engineer as well not just as a cloud engineer or a cloud developer due to increase in data and internet as a cloud engineer you will be having more openings even as a fresher they'll be hiring you at least for internship even from third year so if you got the skills if you got clarity on how to use the tools that need to be used for software development software testing or data engineering or data science it might be even handling big data like data engineering projects or ai engineering based projects if you have skills in cloud you can get a salary more than 6 lpa up to 12 lpa as a fresher this is such an on demand field 